Hi, my name is Josh, I'm from the GPK Group. Today we're going to be showing you how to um, play back f recorded footage directly from the Hypevision DVR. This is a DVR right here. Uh, your DVR might look different, uh, different colour, um, depending on the model that you have. However, um, we're going to be focusing on basically the USB ports at the front of the unit. Um, so you just need to be aware of where those are. Um, this unit, the USB ports are at the bottom, at the very centre of the unit. Um, however, most DVR units are basically uh, are very, very similar. Um, there are USB ports at the back as well. However, most likely you'll have a mouse or peripheral connected to that um, from the back. So this tutorial is going to be covering playing back record footage um, when you have a monitor and a mouse connected directly to the unit. Um, in another tutorial, I'll be covering how to uh, do these things from a computer. So what we're looking at here is the main Hike Vision screen. Um, if you have the Hike Vision NVR connected to a, a monitor, uh, this is what you're going to see. Currently, I'm looking at one camera only, which is of this room. Uh, however, um, you might see a different view. You might see multiple cameras on this screen. Um, but from this, from any screen, when you have a mouse connected, you can right click at any point and actually get the menu. And what we're going to do is actually click menu. And then it's going to ask us to log in. Your login will be different to what I'm typing. So please, um, if you don't know the login details, please contact GPK for those details. Once you log in, you'll be presented with the menu screen. Now, um, if we wanted to play back footage that was recorded, um, the option that we need is playback, which is the first option of the menu. Now, once we click on this, um, you'll get a full screen uh, a full screen interface on how to play back uh, footage. Now, it might look a bit daunting, but we're going to go through each section, um, and then once I go through it, yeah, I think you're going to find it's it's quite easy to use. So. Looking on the right side of the screen, we've got all the cameras listed. Um, your yours, your cameras on your setup might be named differently based on the location of these cameras. This is just a generic demo that I've set up, so it doesn't have any labels. But for this example, I'm just going to select camera one to show you how to view footage from that one camera. We can actually select uh, multiple cameras. Um, but for this example, I'm just going to select one camera. Underneath this list of cameras, we also then have a calendar. And the uh, days that have blue highlights, they're days that have actual recording data in them. So let's click on the, the 5th, Wednesday, the 5th of April. This blue line here on the timeline, so this bottom part is the timeline. What we have at the start of the timeline is... Uh, zero, which is essentially um, as essentially midnight, all the way to 24. So essentially, this is a 24-hour uh, block. Okay, from the 5th of April, 2017. This blue line here. If you look down here, we've got two little colors. One's normal, one's event. Normal means if you've if the DVR has been configured to record continuously. That means it's always recording. Um, you'll see this blue line here of what's been recorded at what time. So you can see I've actually turned this DVR on um, and and then started to record. Um, the, ev uh, the event color, which is kind of like a red color, you'll see that when you have um, the DVR to be configured only to record when there's a movement or an event or an alarm um, situation. And then you'll see uh, that color in the timeline. But for this example, I've just enabled the DVR to continuously record. So that's why we've got that blue line. So this, I can click in here and select. So let's say I'll start hitting play. Now what we're doing is watching a recording of me setting up the DVR. At any point in time while I've hit play, I can actually hit pause, I can stop, rewind, I hit play again. And see on the timeline here, I can actually, I can actually move 
or click between um, the footage. So, and as you can see, my cursor when I hover or click, I actually get a little box up here that shows me uh, sort of a, an example of what's there. See, as I click footage, it's getting later and later. And yeah, so this is uh, close to midnight on, on, on the Wednesday. Let's shift to double click. Now it started playback again. As you can see that the pause is there. And now it's the, the next day at midnight. Again, I can skip through. Nothing much happening. Then the sun starts to rise. And now, now I'm back. So yeah. So this is how you skip through recordings. Um, how you play back recordings. Another feature I'll show you. Let's say. Let's say we, we need to zoom in in the footage. Let's say I want to hit pause here. And I want to zoom in on, on something in this footage. I can click this button here. This is zoom in. And what it's going to do. It makes... It fills the screen with the footage and on the lower um, right hand corner of the screen there's this uh, box which is actually the whole camera view and then there's a red box showing me what's zoomed. I can use my mouse and actually click and drag and say and then I let go of the cursor and then it's now showing me what's zoomed in there. Say if I want to zoom in more on that on my watch there. So I can zoom in. It, it'll, it, this is digital zoom, so you're not going to get a high amount of detail from that. Um, but it does allow you to zoom in on any part of the footage um, digitally, uh, just so if you need to see something more clear, clearly. If we wanted to get back out of this zoom view, we just uh, click on the right mouse button, which goes back to the, to the view that we were in. Um, other features can that we can do from here, we can actually actually capture like a, a an image file. So say if I wanted to save this as a, a photo, I can click on that, and that's actually saved, created a snapshot that we can save later. Um, and we can tag the footage, but this is the basic interface. I can click other cameras here as well. I actually haven't got have I don't have these cameras connected on this example. Um, however, you'll be able to select multiple cameras and you'll be able to jump through cameras. So this is the basic uh, way that, uh, that you can look through um, previous footage. And stay tuned for my next video where I'll cover how to export the footage to a USB drive um, so you can give it to a third party to, to look at the footage. Uh, thanks for watching.